Hey, what's happening gamers? It's September 18th, 2013. Time for your Nintendo news right now. Remember before I promised to keep you all informed about the whole Index Atlas bankruptcy issue? Well, it turns out that Sega Dream Corporation, a subsidiary of Sega Sammy Holdings, try saying that five times fast, has officially bought out Index. The deal went down at 14 billion yen, or in USD, that's 141 million dollars. Though things uh, won't be finalized until November sometime. Sega has gone on record saying for the most part operations will continue as normal for Atlas, and Sega has picked up a whole bunch of new IPs. However, at this time, no one really knows how this is going to affect their localized anime games, and as you know, Atlas has a ton. So uh, based on this unknown information, I will continue to keep you all involved as the news continues to develop, because I have to find out what happens to all these amazing Atlas localized games. Still, after months of speculation, Sega has done the unthinkable. But are you personally excited about the purchase of Atlas by Sega? Sound off in the comments section below. In other news, Monster Hunter 4 has released in Japan as a 3DS exclusive and is currently dominating the sales charts over in Japan. After only two days, the newest Monster Hunter game has sold over 2 million copies, and that number is expected to double in the next couple of weeks. At this time, no word on a US release just yet. Capcom, you make me sad. But we're moving on. Nintendo has once again brought the news directly to you, this time on Wii Fit U. Anyway, the game will release this December and make use of the new Fit Meter. Wii Fit U will come packaged with the meter, and the second package is with the balance board if you already don't own one. Pricing at this time is to be announced. However, if you download Wii Fit U off the Nintendo eShop between November 1st and January 31st, you get a free month free trial. Plus, once the game releases in December, just buy the Wii Fit meter for $19.99 and sync it up to your Wii U in order to get the game at no additional cost. Just make sure you have plenty of space available to download this game because the file size is definitely on the hefty side. Lastly, Nintendo will be releasing an HD remake of Wii Sports that will use both Wii Remote Plus and feature online play. Finally! Wii Sports Club features two purchase options at this time. A club card that will let you keep the sports for 9 bucks a piece, ouch! Or a $1.99 unlimited access for 24 hours. That way when your friends come over and you don't have the full game, you just pay that $1.99 fee and you can play all the games for just $1.99 for 24 hours. At this time only tennis and bowling will be available. I do not suggest getting the club card because I think that's a ripoff because you can essentially buy Wii Sports for about 9 bucks as it is on the Wii. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up today's K News. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget on our Let's Play channel today, we have Injustice versus Up. We've got Cars, Infinity, whatever, and of course, the wonderful 101 will be out tonight. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and until we meet again, gamers, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!